we had hearings here, and we had several people that came in that, that, that talked about, uh, I remember one quote, that, that Mason County will be the cannabis cash capital of Washington State. And I, I really felt that was extreme, but now I'm starting to think that some of these things are possible. Just like the whole uh, cannabis gold rush mentality, which we have here. And I think there's a lot of people looking at us for this opportunity. And I'm, uh, that makes me afraid because I don't want our community to change uh, drastically. We are at risk here in Mason County to hang on to what we have. We live here because we like it here. We like the rural atmosphere. We only have one incorporated city. There's only six counties in the state that have only one incorporated city. It's very unusual. I said in my campaign when I first ran that I would probably make a mistake here and there. The marijuana industry was a brand new industry that we didn't know enough about it. Um, at the time that we were asked to make zoning, we didn't even know what these operations would look like. I knew the security features, I knew about the canopy um, limit, no information from the state about how this would all be applied. So we went ahead and allowed these folks who were looking for a license to place you know, to, to have their operations in various areas that I thought, for me personally, where would I be okay with it being? <clears throat> Apparently, I'm, I'm in the minority of the people in this room that in a rural residential five was not appropriate. Didn't have the input from the community to be able to counter my personal thoughts on that. I do now have your input. I thank you very much. This moratorium gives us an opportunity to come back, relook at this, regroup, and see now what we know about this industry and how it will be grown and how it will be, what it will look like, how shall we regulate it within the authorities, the land use codes, down at the, from the state level to the county.